And in problem E, you're told that uh, the lines J and K are parallel. You're given an expression for angle 3, which is 3x minus 14. And you are told that the expression for angle 1 is x plus 12. And you're asked to find angle 6. So angle 6 is equal to measure of angle 1. So we know that angle 6 is equal to measure of angle 1. So if we can find angle 1, we'll know the measure of 6. Well, angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding angles. Therefore, they are equal to each other as well. So we can take the expressions for angle 1 and angle 3. Those are corresponding angles of parallel lines, so they are equal, which means x plus 12 has to equal the expression 3x minus 14. So if we solve this, We'll move all the x's to one side, subtract an x from both sides of the equation. We'll move the constants over to the other side and solve. We get x is equal to 13. And so now it's just a matter of substituting that in. It can be in either of these expressions. They should both yield the same value. I'll use this angle 1 since it's easier. Uh, x plus 12 can be substituted. Substitute a 13 in for x and solve we get 25. So if this angle is 25, that means this corresponding angle, or I'm sorry, this vertical angle, angle 6, is also going to be 25.